Straight off the FedEx truck, it's the hotly anticipated Halo 3. Links in the description. From the GPS to the fit, there are some huge improvements over the Halo 2 Plus. How huge? Let's find out. All right, here it is. Let's slide this box open. Oh, hello there, Caesar Milan. Open that up and welcome to Halo. Here's your quick start guide. And this is the Halo 3 collar. At first glance, it's a spitting image of the 2 Plus. We'll see how they stack up shortly. Next up, the USB-C charging cable. Here are the static correction prongs. Long prongs for dogs with lush manes and shorter prongs for those with a buzz cut, like me. And here's the Halo Indoor Bluetooth Beacon. It's meant to create safe zones or keep away zones indoors. I've never had the best luck with them, but let's see if this one's gotten any better. Hold up, what's this? A magnetic charging base? Sweet! It attaches flawlessly to the collar's charging port. Kind of like how the MagSafe does with MacBooks. And there's a USB-C port for your cable. Still no charging block though. Seems like the Apple influence is inescapable. Last but not least, here's a new tool to adjust the collar's length. Halo 3 has been hyping their perfect fit feature, so I guess this is the key to it. Let's put it to the test. The setup was quick and painless, just over six minutes for me. That said, I already had the app downloaded and ready to go, so if you're new to Halo, I'd expect a bit more time than that. Right off the gate, you'll sync up with satellites. It took me about a half a minute. Updates for satellite data and software will auto-install whenever available while you charge the collar. For GPS initialization, take the collar outdoors, sky in full view, and do a little jiggle walk. It took me around a minute and 20 seconds or so to get a strong GPS signal. The app will guide you. And trust me, that's fast. The Halo 2 Plus typically took me about 10 minutes or so. I've never been overwhelmingly impressed with the Halo's location tracking in the past. I'm still a bit traumatized by getting unfairly shocked by the Halo 2 Plus during boundary tests. Oh, oh God. <laughs> but it looks like Halo's been listening to its users and decided to make some real improvements. They're calling it the Precision GPS. Borrowing a leaf from spot on, Halo now leans on AI to up its location game. Halo's even claiming it's the best virtual dog fence ever created. Bold words that we'll put to the test. And hey, if you own a Halo 2 Plus, this feature will be pushed through via a firmware update. I can't wait to try this out. A full-fledged Precision GPS review is coming your way, so hit that subscribe button. The active GPS antenna is all about boosting GPS reception with more satellites. Better coverage could mean more play areas for your dog. Real-time location updates now refresh every second in the app. There's a tunnel nearby with some kick-ass graffiti art. I'm planning a date with the Halo 3 there to test the GPS reception, and while I'm at it, I'll test how real the real-time location is. Full review coming soon. For Globetrotters and their dogs, this is golden. Halo 3 auto-connects to the strongest carrier wherever you go. And the best part? No extra charges. Can you imagine iPhones having this? Our dogs are stepping up in the tech world. To truly put this to the test, some international travel is going to be needed. Halo, if you're watching, my passport's at the ready and my bags are packed. You remember those tools from earlier? They're part of the perfect fit system, aimed at nailing the collar size down to a T. When comparing the Halo 3 with the Halo 2 Plus, there's extra strap material, making it slightly heavier. We're talking grams here. The how-to video made it seem really easy, so I gave it a quick shot, but the silicone strap still gave me a bit of a hard time. It doesn't slide over itself as freely as a nylon strap would, for example, which is totally fine, just not particularly easy. In the interest of getting this unboxing video to you faster, I decided to dedicate some time to testing the perfect fit system later. Don't worry, it'll be with you soon. Though the Halo 2 Plus and 3 look like twins, the 3 boast stronger materials. Even the prong threads are beefier, eliminating the breakoff issues seen from time to time in the 2 Plus. And the new charging point is fully sealed. No more water or debris damage, a prevalent issue in the 2 Plus. Now, the hook leash seems to have been slightly moved. At first, I thought it was an improvement because a lot of people had been saying how bizarre its location is, but nope, somehow it's worse now. It's worse. It's so much worse. Although, I guess the leash is kind of against the philosophy of an invisible fence, so we'll let it slide. Halo's claiming a 20% battery boost, which means up to 24 hours of juice. To be tested. They've rolled out Orchid and Sunburst, in addition to Graphite and Ivory. Considering dogs can't tell Orchid from Onion, this is more for the human eye. With all these upgrades, you'd expect a price hike, but no, Halo's kept it stable. Good on them. So, there you have it. Overall, I'm definitely impressed. Halo seems to have stepped up their game in a big way. Honestly, I've never been this pumped to give a Halo collar a whirl. Obviously, I'll be the one wearing it, trying out all its features, pushing its GPS to the limits, and, let's hope, avoiding any shocks. The biggest question to be answered is whether upgrading from the Halo 2 Plus to the Halo 3 is worth it, since the GPS tech is coming to the Halo 2 Plus. I'll be comparing both, especially focusing on GPS capabilities, which seem to be the major improvement. But if you just can't wait, use the link in the description to get the best deal that I know of. 
I'll include any coupons or discounts that I come across down there. So stay tuned, dog lovers. Subscribe, and I'll be back real soon. Till then, keep those tails wagging.